and beyond. My dad is a freak, among other things. Well, my dad is a freak happens to be the title of uh, Thomas Bell's new book about his struggles as a first time father. Uh, kind of humorous look <laughs> it is. at parenthood. Uh, first of all, Tom, thank you for joining us. Sure. Great to be uh, here. Got a chance to uh, page through your, your book last night, and the cover is interesting, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, you got three kids now. Got three kids. And uh, you started late. Started late, 45 years old. 45 years old. Right. And uh, you're 51 now. 51, and I have a two-year-old right And you now. have a two-year-old. Yeah, I have a long way to go. God bless you, my child. <laughs> uh, I hope someone does. F first of all, uh, my dad is a freak. Now, I've been called a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But I don't mm -hmm. think freak is one of them. At least not, at least not to my face. Well, they uh, haven't caught me. <laughs> it's 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 a name that was bestowed upon me over the years. Yeah. Sometimes to my face. Okay. Usually behind my back. Uh, yeah. But it's it, it, it just uh, uh, it's I I tend to overreact and overanalyze situations okay. that I get that I get myself into. Yeah. So the name is kind of stuck over the years. Now you 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 owned a, a, a tavern right. right and and I mean you were living the bachelor life that was it yeah and then all of a sudden you know bam parenthood hit you well you know I was 41 years old and I had worked in restaurants and bars pretty much through college mm -hmm. and since college mm -hmm. so I thought instead of I was, I was living the, the bachelor lifestyle which is basically drinking beer and chasing women and I thought at 41 why not build a bar and make them come to me yeah but you know what they say about the best laid plans right <laughs> yeah I had the doors open for six months in walks this woman and she stole my heart it was my soulmate and you got somehow married. she found me yeah uh, eight months later we we're married and all of a sudden I had no use for a bar it was excess inventory in my life. Mm -hmm. so, so you got rid of it? I sold it. Okay. So, okay, talk, talk about, uh, talk about the, 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 the joys of being an older father. Well, you know, it, it, it's amazing. You have a mindset that kind of sets in at about 45, 46 years old. You're kind of jaded. People get, you know, people get kind of crusty and old and brittle. And just having a newborn, you, you just rediscover the, the joys of life. Yeah. Maybe you're, you're discovering them for the first time. Maybe you didn't have such a good childhood. Yeah. Um, and maybe you had a fine childhood, but you forgot about all these tiny things. Yeah. You know, and that's really, that was my inspiration for actually sitting down and, and, and writing the getting memoir. it all out. Now, you, are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. Okay. I, I, I mean, I went from a very social business, which is bartending, being the bar owner, being, being the, uh, the center of attention. Yeah. To just sitting around in my underwear writing all day. Yeah. So well, hey, you, you, you <laughs> almost forget deal. to talk. Yeah. <laughs> but let me ask you this. I mean, you. I know you enjoy being a dad. Right. But but what's the worst part of, about being a, a 51 year old dad? Well, it, it's when you sit down at the calculator and you start crunching the numbers. Okay. So my my two year old, by the time she graduates from high school. They're basically going to have to move the graduation ceremony to my nursing home so I could watch her get her diploma, all right? Yeah. I'm going to be the guy in the wheelchair facing the corner, cobwebs between the fingers. Well, at least I mean, that's the reality. I'm going to tell you, I have a daughter that's 10 years old. And you know the question that people, oh, is, is that your granddaughter? And yeah. I'm like, yeah. no, yeah. Uh, that's my daughter. Yeah, you know? right. I mean, you, you haven't gotten that yet. I haven't gotten that yet, but I have a good <laughs> supply of just for men. When, when it goes on sale, I stock up. You're going to need it. Right, right. But uh, tell me about the book, though. It's, it's full of uh, your experiences, right, being a dad. My experience as being a dad you know it's it, it really has wide appeal it, it's written from the perspective of a first-time older dad but it touches on parenthood couplehood childhood um, it's gotten great response from from uh, sons and daughters yeah. mothers and fathers mm -hmm. grandparents somebody compared it compared you to Bill Cosby uh, I mean, that as far would be, as a fatherhood kind of thing? That would be the highest compliment ever. Yeah. I mean, his, his, his great book, Fatherhood, from yeah. maybe 20 years ago, is yeah. just like gold standard in, in, uh, in that kind of mem uh, genre. You know, and the best thing about it is you're from right here in Cleveland, Tom. I'm in Cleveland. Yes, oh, you yeah. are. Yeah. Yes, you I'm are. I'm here to stay. Man, well, congratulations on the book. Thank you very much. And, uh, um, boy. Can, can I mention real quick? Oh, absolutely. I, I have a book signing uh, tomorrow night in Tremont. Yes. About between 7 and 8 mm -hmm. uh, at Visible Voice Books. Okay. And uh, it's a great night to come down to Tremont. It's going to be Art Walk Night as well. Yeah. I'll be there signing one. Love with. Tremont. Great. I love Tremont. Great do, you, do you miss the bar scene at all? Come on, be honest. Uh, you know, I don't miss it. Okay. I don't miss it. I think I really have my fill and I never thought I'd be able to say that yeah. I mean I thought this 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 uh, bar was gonna be my shrine to bachelorhood and I was gonna be going out strong yeah, you know for yeah. the second half of my life yeah. <laughs> well the book is called my dad is a freak a memoir Thomas K Bell Thomas thank you very That's much it. appreciate it man, man great thank Good you very much you. all right appreciate it. All right.